Hey everybody, I'm Allison Love Beatty. Welcome back to Allie's Voice. Have you seen the commercial that it's a Wendy's commercial and you know they're talking about um, you know we don't want to serve you anything you don't know what you're eating didn't your mama tell you not to eat blah 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 yeah um, the very same way that Americans are focusing on trying to eat more natural foods and not quite so many preservatives and things that you can't pronounce <laughs> um, an interesting thing came up regarding the contents of the short-acting insulin analogs and um, I was looking at um, this specific ingredient which is called metacresol or mcresol. It's, um, it's a preservative for insulin. It's been used ever since the days of you know the first generation insulins um, before they actually became insulin analogs. Um, they scare me. Insulin analogs really scare me because what they've done is it's kind of like cloning sheep, but then all of a sudden they're like, wow, this is cool, look what we can do. Now we can add, you know, six horns and, you know, we can give them human thumbs. Or, you know, everybody is a little bit apprehensive about m moving the original, the creator's design, and with good reason. You know, you really don't want to tinker with nature too much, and I think that's exactly what's happened in the um, scientific greed, or um, you know, just the the lust for huge capital gains. Insulin analogs—they're not—they're not insulin. They really aren't. That's why they call it an analog. It's—it's uh, it's taken the original design. And it's literally plucked out amino acids from the chain, plucked a few back in, added preservatives and fluff, more so than the first the first generation of recombinant DNA insulins. I mean, I would think I think of it in terms of the evolution of the automobile. You know, they wanted to come up with some you know motorized vehicle to get you from point A to point B. Some wheels, you know, a chassis, the the little place to sit. There you go. There's your automobile. And then over time, you know, it was it was polished and and made into a great design. And you know, then there there came safety features like the airbag. And now, what are we doing in so far as you know making them even better nowadays? It has nothing to do with safety features nowadays. Everything is, oh, it's faster. It needs to be more fuel efficient, which is great because then we're saving our environment, which, I mean, theoretically seems like a great idea, but then people are suffering in their performance, but I won't digress on that. What I mean is that um, insulin is insulin. How many different renditions of insulin do you need? How often have we changed you know, the glucagon, the life-saving shot in the event that you take too much insulin or that that insulin analog worked too quickly or did too much to your body. I don't believe that it's necessary that we need to keep coming up with designer insulins. I think insulin is insulin. I think, you know, for those of us who need the balance, you've got the short-acting and the long-acting. But, you know, when you're running into an insulin that runs at mock speeds, your body's not sure what to do with it. It's not sure how to protect itself. Metacresol, it's it's been in there all along, but I don't understand why. You know, it, it looks as though a pedra has got as much metacresol as it has insulin analog in it, and Lily's up there too. Novo actually did a pretty responsible job in trying to keep their level of metacresol down, but there's also there's others fillers and preservatives and and things that go into these insulins that really question the damage they cause and and I I put up some information in the blog about what the um, what hazmat warnings are in there and there's there's some resounding effects in fact you know there there's a declaration that literally damages the central nervous system and there's some there's another preservative I can't even pronounce that causes renal failure hyperkalemia, which is actually high potassium levels in the blood, which really um, could lead to heart failure, could lead to a lot of problems, and people are predisposed to this to begin with. So why would you add another ingredient that just makes it worse? I don't know, because you want your blood sugar to come down faster? 
faster than the body can handle? That doesn't seem like the opportunity cost I want to take in my body. Um, electrolyte disturbances, and of course, hypoglycemia. So you've got the agent of insulin, and then you add to it a preservative that actually encourages hypoglycemia as well. <laughs> I don't know. To me, they call it science, but this is not science. This is, this is actually increasing dangers to you, to your children to your grandmother, to your mother, to your father. I, I, don't, I don't condone it. I really think that there's, um, there's a lot of safety in sticking to how nature designed it. And um, I wouldn't be arrogant enough to even try to do something that, that would just cause long-term damages that none of us deserve just trying to control our diabetes. Um, how do you feel? What do you use? Do you use a, a, a fast-acting analog? Or um, I'd like to do another blog on the long-acting analogs, too. There's, there's some interesting stuff that went on uh, in there as well. So um, tell me, how do you feel about these preservatives? Is this an opportunity cost you're willing to play with your body to bring your blood sugars down faster? Because uh, that study did come out that said the... Um, insulin analogs really are no better and are clearly not superior to the first generation of recombinant DNA insulins, the um, MPH, the regular. And um, who's to say that the highly purified animal insulins in the 70s um, might even have been better than that? Who's to say there's no study out there for it? It was never done. Um, it was kind of like somebody committed a crime and washed away the evidence as quickly as they could. That's a little drastic, but is in drama what everybody likes. Um, okay, good enough. I'd like to hear uh, hear your response to this. Um, what insulins are you using? All right. Take care, everybody. I'll see you next time.